Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Leo. This is going to be for the second half of September. We're going to go ahead and uh, pull cards from different decks that I prepared for today and see what's happening for you. Leo, please do keep in mind not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. So stick around, let's see what's going on. And if you do like this kind of readings, please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel for further updates. We are starting today with the Soul Journey Lesson cards, so let's see what it has here for you. Leo. for Leo. We have success coming through. Very nice. Regret and adversity. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards and see what's going on. We're going to start with that success energy. Let's see what's going on. Success for Leo. I'm getting an energy of reaching a goal. If you had a certain position in mind when it comes to uh, your job or career, or if you had a certain like um, a goal when it comes to your finances, I see you reaching that. And look what you have here: ten of materials that is coming through right away, which is the financial abundance. It's beautiful. That is reaching the goal, uh, reaching the goal of um, you know certain amount of savings. So uh, for a lot of you, I'm getting a position that you had in mind um, for your career, and you are reaching that position here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting this energy here. Look at that. You have nine of materials and ten of materials. Beautiful. I'm getting the energy here of working in a quite a difficult environment. I'm getting the energy here of um, uh, always have to kind of almost sleep with one eye open uh, when it comes to work, um, of course figuratively speaking, but what I'm getting here is that um, it's a competitive environment and uh, you could have been working with people who wanted to be in the same position that you are or wanted to get to the same position that you wanted to get to. Um, they could have been even using some, uh, you know, uh, underhanded techniques to get to where they want to be and it's kind of worrisome. I feel like you've been worried about it. Well, I am seeing you reaching your goal with that success energy here, nine of materials, financial independence, definitely reaching the goal, celebrating here, being exactly what you want to be. And um, this is a legacy, 10 of materials. This is one in the last generations and that's what you have here. Absolutely beautiful energy. Was it easy to get here? No, I do see that there's a lot of competition around you, but I am feeling the energy that you are overcoming all this. And um, although it's been stressful, you're reaching the goal. That's the energy that's coming through here very, very strongly. Money looking really good for you. Let's go ahead and see what is this regret energy here for Leo. What is this regret energy? I'm getting some friendships being lost and that's a bit of a regret here. You could have seen people for who they truly are and that was a little bit disappointing for you. Um, yeah, interesting energy that's coming through here. Could have been even... Yeah, I'm getting this energy here of... Um, um, this could have been even your boss or your mentor in one way or somebody you saw as your mentor at some point um, in, your, uh, in your career. I feel like this person is going to disappoint you in some way. It's interesting, uh, but that's what's coming through here. Uh, could have been a, a fire sign, uh, just like you, Leo. Um, also Virgo standing out strongly, but I feel like you're going to have this intuition that uh, this person might be not necessarily who they um, who they um who they are maybe the advices that are giving you is not necessarily something you can follow at this time um 
I don't necessarily see anything malicious from them. It just feels a little disappointing. That's what I feel here. Uh, music of voices. Yeah, it feels like you're going on your own path. You're following your own advice here. And that's what's bringing you success. For some of you, what I'm getting here, you could have overgrown your mentor. That's what I see here. And it's like of a breakthrough energy. It's time for you to go on your own. And although it is a little disappointing to, you know, to almost kind of give me an energy of leaving home, not figuratively speaking, we're talking about your career now, but uh, in the end of the day, it's what you need to do. It's what, what your future holds for you. You have a lot of creativity in you. You have a lot of ideas in you. You have a lot of things that need to just burst out. And it feels like uh, with this uh, person that you were either working for or that you considered your mentor, it's like you, you're reaching a glass ceiling and it's time for you to go on your own path. Yes, there's a bit of regret here there and a little bit of disappointment, but it's time for you to break free and break through. Okay, adversity. Let's see what that is all about. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm getting a turbulent time in a relationship because you're very much focused on work and you're very busy and it does feel to me like um, a relationship are kind of taking a, a back seat uh, in your life for this for, uh, second half of September and it's bringing a bit of uh, energy over challenges. There could be arguments here, there could definitely be some turbulent time in a relationship because you're just um, spending way too much time at work, you're, way too, uh, you're juggling several things, you're, uh, you know, you're spending late nights at work, I'm getting that strongly and it's time for you to stop and rethink, rethink your approach to this relationship. Now you could be connected to Pisces, you don't have to be. I feel like this person is very emotional. I feel like this person is very sensitive. So the fact that you are not having enough time uh, to pay attention to this person or you're just not putting enough effort to this relationship to understand them, to even talk to them, uh, it's, it's, it's bringing issues. It's bringing issues in this relationship here. Um, could have been an air sign, doesn't have to be, but I do feel that communication is extremely important here. Uh, two of inspirations is like you always look ahead when it comes to your career, when it comes to your money, when it comes to your job, and you're just so focused on that, you're so focused on that, that you might, might be missing some nuances that are coming up in your romantic relationship here, and this person needs attention. I feel like this person definitely needs a little bit more attention there. That's what I see. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. I wanna pull some keeper cards for you and get some specific messages as to what's happening in the second half of September. Let's find out. Leo, what's going on? What's going on for Leo? Main female. Hmm. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but I am getting an energy of somebody being gifted a property. I'm getting that energy very strongly, so it is definitely for some of you. I'm getting a strong energy of somebody being gifted a property, a home, a family home here. Yeah, family is very important here. Look at this. Ten of Cups is coming through the world. Wow. Two of Wands. Three of Swords. How interesting. What is this about? Okay, there is a few messages that are coming through here very strongly, Leo. For some of you, um, there's uh, there's family matters that need to be settled at this time. I'm getting the energy here of uh, inquiring um, a home. Some of you could be buying a home, and if you are buying a home, it feels to me like a... Um, mm, it's something that you're sharing with your family and not I'm not just saying about your husband and your kids I'm getting an energy of sharing this with your siblings or with your cousins or with your extended family here this could be you buying out a, a homely uh, family oh my god sorry family property from an older generation and you're kind of splitting that between the like I said siblings or cousins here for some of you this is um, um, kind of getting that family home and again you're going to share it with your uh, with your 
I was with other family members that's what i see for some of you you could be buying a vacation property again with your family uh, this could be in some different even location even in a different country for those of you who immigrated um, at some point you could be uh, buying a, a property or inheriting a property or getting a property in one way or another in a place where you're from in a place where you uh, originally came from I'm getting that energy very strongly there is a distance here now for some of you i'm getting this energy of going through the turbulent um, times in your romantic relationship and in your uh, marriage uh, so um, be careful of that leo you're coming in very strongly here and there is a bit of a disappointment here you could be connected to somebody who is trying to put a lot of effort in this relationship who's quite open with their emotions somebody who's um who's almost kind of wearing their heart on their uh, sleeve and they also want commitment they want commitment and they want commitment from you and it feels to me like there's a bit of a disappointment energy here where they pouring in with their emotions with their uh, efforts into this relationship but there is no reciprocity or they don't feel the reciprocity i feel like you do have feelings for this person but it's just your focus is somewhere else and the efforts are not being seen that's what i'm seeing there so if you do want this relationship to work i feel like uh, you need to pay a little bit more attention to this person and they just know that they want commitment they want commitment they want um a, a long-term relationship they want uh, exclusive relationship they want marriage so you know from your side you got to decide what you want and if that's what you want with this person they need to see it they need to see it. they need to feel it and i feel like that's something that's a little bit missing here that's what i see there leo okay all right well let's um Let's get this out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and just pull some light series tarot here and see if there's any messages that we missed that we have not covered so far, if there's anything else that needs to come out for you for this uh, second half of September. Let's find out. Okay. There we go. Oh, what is coming through? Some of you could be go attending a wedding. Some of you, this could be your wedding at this time. And I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun. Good times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, so for some of you, and this is absolutely not for everybody, but I do see a celebration here of a marriage, a wedding here. So some of you could definitely be attending that. And if so, I feel like you're going to have a lot of um, uh, fun time there. And it's like almost, uh, it's going to be like kind of a release for you, an energy release. Like, you know, you're going to let loose in one way or another. And I feel like it's going to be very beneficial for you. Again, there is this energy here of uh, working very hard on your finances and being extremely, extremely busy I'm seeing you working on many 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 things make sure you don't get stuck in this energy with this chariot in reverse it's almost like you pulled in so many different directions that at some point chariots stop moving because you know because you are pulled in different directions like these two horses is almost feel like if it's upright they are going in the same direction they're moving you forward they're progressing in reverse i feel like these horses are just pulling in different directions and the chariot is not moving you're not moving forward um so be careful of that you have to balance your energy you have to make sure that uh, you're not um, uh, spreading yourself thin because like I said it feels to me like if you're taking on so many projects if you're taking on so many things to do you might um, come come out short in pretty much all of them like you won't be able to move forward so be careful of that Leo um, I am getting the energy of needing to balance needing to rest needing to um, prioritize see what needs to be taken care of first and go there do that and also um delegate delegate your work to other people i think it'd be very beneficial you cannot do it all alone that's what i'm getting here these are the energies that are coming through leo these are the messages i do hope this reading was helpful thank you so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed the reading please do press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already Thank you for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.